So why hard pellet? Well, for me, there's no better hard pellets than the, the activated cell range by Mainline Match. In the four mil and six mil, these are my go-to pellets. And for me, when the water starts warming up and the fish really come on the feed, uh, I tend to move away from the micro and expander. Um, and I move on to a hard application. That's because it works in a variety of different ways, whether you're fishing on the deck, whether you're fishing mid-water or shallow. When you get the volume of fish in your peg, um, you don't want to be shipping in and out constantly with uh, replacing expanders on the hook. So banding a hard pellet or lassoing a hard pellet is definitely the way forward when you, you're aiming at getting massive volumes of fish in, in your peg. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put one on the hook now, ship out and show you it working. There we go, it didn't take long, into a nice fish on the hard pellet. I'm going to get this one in, get it in the net, I'm going to show you what I'm doing um, and, and how I'm fishing it. Lovely fish here at Alva Church, I don't know how to fight, I don't like giving up anyway. Ooh. Come on, show yourself. There we go. I'm using that. Okay. Let's talk about my rigs. Well, I know the venue extremely well, so for me, two rigs does the job. I've got one sitting at dead depth on the hard pellet, and the other one is a shallow rig that I set at about 14 inches, which, as I know, is, is the, the depth that the carp love to sit here at Alva Church. The setup's really, really similar, so we're going to talk about the, the deck rig. So I've got here, I've got a 0.5 DS floats uh, carbon slim. Um, this take is a lovely float, really, really, really well balanced and takes a nice amount of shot, which gives me a really positive indication when the carp are on the bottom. Um, I've coupled that up with a 015 uh, hook length to an 18 SLWG on a band. Uh, what I'll do, I'll show you how I put the pellet on. So I take a 6mm pellet, I hold the band with the, the edge of my thumb and just wrap the band over the top of the pellet. And there we have a perfectly presented pellet ready for hard fishing. Shot location really is up, for you, uh, up to you, but I like to put a bulk and, and a couple of droppers. I find this is the most, sim well, the simplest way of pellet fishing, but also the most effective for me. I know a lot of people that do strung out rigs and, and, and really, really tight bulks, but this is my go-to setup when I'm carp fishing. So let's touch upon the shallow rig now. As I say, I set this at 14 inches. I know um, that this is a, a depth that they like to sit off at Alva Church. Again, it's a D, uh, DS floats uh, 0.15 uh, carbon slim. And what I've got underneath that is a couple of number nine shots. And then I don't put anything on the line all the way down to my hook length, which again is a 0.15 to a, a 16 SLWG banded. And again, I'll just band the six mil on that and Absolutely perfect presentation. Right, what I'm going to do, I'm going to ship in now on the deck rig, see if we can catch another one. So what I'm doing, I'm getting my rig, I'm laying it in. I've got my marker on the far bank, which is a tree stump. It's perfect every time. I'm letting it get about halfway. Just dropping it in, letting the float settle. I'll take some four mil pellets, just firing them over the top of the float. And I'm looking for any sort of indication that tells me that there's fish there. You're often fishing a really tight bulk uh, towards your hook length, you'll get little lift bites. But in this sort of instance, what I'm looking for is that float just to absolutely bury. And that's the beauty of hard pellet fishing, when you get a bite off these carp. Um, 
average stamping here is between three and nine pound. Um, you don't half know about it. The massively hard fighting fish, and they rip the float straight under. So again, just keeping that feed going in every 20 seconds or so. That didn't take long. Gone in, fired a few fours over the top of it, and the float is just absolutely buried. We went to one of Alva Church's hard fighting carp on the cell, six mil, banded pellet. I'll tell you what, these fish in here, they don't half go. They'd be so careful. It's like you've got them beat one minute and then they just wake up and tear back off again. Take our time a bit. Again, what I was doing, banded six mil pellet. I was feeding fours over the top every 20, 30 seconds. Just waiting for that float to bury. See if we can get him in the net. It's taking my time. I don't want to stab at the fish. Wait for him to come up. I just don't give up here. Absolutely solid with muscle. Here we go. And beautiful car. Ooh. Looked right in the top lip. So if I can hold it up and uh, give you a look at it. Here's a lively one. Slot's low. Another stunning Alpha Church car on the R pellet. So there we have it with consistent baiting up, accurate feeding, um, rig presentation, and finding the depths of where the fish are wanting to sit. We've got ourselves into five or six absolutely pristine Alpha Church car. Um, really, really, really good fun. So get out, get yourself a bag, and give it a go.